Matt Duzablevitz here for NYC Metal Scene, also known as DJ Zab of the NYC Metal Scene Show on Metal Messiah Radio. I'm here with Martin from At The Gates. How are you, brother? Hey, I'm good. Good hey, to man, see you. Hey, man, we're having a... Excited for tonight. We're here in Manhattan. Oh, yeah, always. We yeah. had a, an amazing show here almost 15 years ago. Or two, two amazing shows. Two, 15 years ago? Uh, well, 14. Uh, oh, eight, wow. 14 years ago, yeah. Well, damn, so mm. that that's, that's a great lead-in to my first question because At The Gates, you've been putting out music together since for about 30 years mm. and tonight you're going to be playing uh, your 25th anniversary of slaughter slaughter the, the souls that that's true yeah okay slaughter the souls yeah. so let me ask you this as as a musician as a, a songwriter how do you find it trying to write new fresh music while still trying to sound like like your old self at the gates because you know how it is because people are like oh they don't sound the same as they used to back in the the 90s or or they've changed too much but i've listened to your latest R- album right. and it's really good like you, you have some some nice fast uh spots in it and you have that classic melodic death metal mm-hmm. so how do you how are you how are you able to achieve that like like achieving a fresh sound and but still keeping the like your old sound as well right well, I think I, 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 I've never really <laughs> thought about this, but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. we're all very musically curious. Right. So right, right. We're, we're always looking for new music and new influences. Of course. So and then, you know, the the the, the sound of At The Gates, that's the core of us. That That's what happens naturally. Right. Right. So I think that's uh, th- those two factors in combination makes it. Not easy, but you know, it, it's it's not uh, it's not t- too much of a struggle. Who you know. who writes the lyrics? Uh, Tompa, the singer. Okay, yeah. so because that's difficult as well, as someone that writes lyrics uh, in a different band, hmm. sometimes you have a, t- a tough time coming up with new subject matters. So right. how? Did, oh, I guess he can't speak for for your, for for uh, Tom that writes the lyrics. Okay, uh, a, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, okay. uh, uh, sure. Yeah. Well, he's he's a voracious reader, so oh, so okay. he he always gets new. Like literary influences, uh, like for the first album we did after the hiatus, it was the uh, magical realism r- right. from Latin America, uh, which was a big big thing for him back right. then. And and uh, for the previous album, it was uh, a guy called um, uh, oh man P- P- uh. P- Peter Weiss, uh, oh, oh yes, uh, okay, uh, a German Swedish right. okay. author. And uh, and uh, for the newest album, it's it's been. Uh, uh, well, <laughs> sorry, I got you. Uh, so, no, see, I sorry, you I, I, I haven't slipped properly, and I haven't. Uh, I, feel sorry, you. Sorry. I feel you. So I'm drawing blanks here, but no, it, it's uh, it's a uh, like horror writers like uh, Thomas Ligotti, okay, and uh, uh, a Norwegian philosopher called Peter Sapfer, I think, and right, uh, right. guys like that. It's a very bleak, pessimistic album, uh, but also there's kind of uh, in a, in a weird paradoxical way there's k- kind of hope in the misery right, uh, there, right yeah. there's always um i feel like it yeah. comes across uh, in the especially the latest album yeah. as well a little bit of hope but uh, again that misery is as you were saying right right no well for me personally i yeah. i think w- once you've come to terms with the meaninglessness of, yeah, yeah. of, of everything it's a pretty fucking solid foundation right foundation to stand on to build on, yeah. Uh, once you've l- just accepted it for what it is, yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's just me personally. It's you know. Well, that's that's uh, uh, yeah. No, that's that's mm. definitely enlightening. Mm. All right, now for the second question, and uh, like I said, I'm going to make you think on this one as well. Mm. Look, you guys have been playing music for 30 years, and we're probably around the same age, Generation X. Mm. Uh, you know, certainly grew up in the 80s. Right. Right. So as you approach your mortality. And, jeez, oh there was actually two different questions. All right, one quick question. Right. What do you think the staying power has with metal as opposed to, like, pop music? Because, as you see, like, there's, like, bands, uh, not even bands, there was, like, uh, created music, like, popular music in the 90s and the right, 2000s, right. and they just go away once the people that were listening to them grow up. But now metal, you guys in gen- at the gates in general, yeah, are still yeah. putting out great music and are very popular. And there's still young. There's a lot of young metal bands out there as well. That's what true. do you think the staying power for metal is? Oh, I wish I knew. Yeah, I hear, <laughs> yeah, I hear you. But um, I don't know. There, there always seems to be a regrowth of of very like right. c- curious and very educated people. Yeah, who really 
they want to they want to know the history of it, of it all. And, right, and, right. Uh, it's not but, like an instant you know, gratification, like with sometimes. With right, but music. I, I uh, but then I mean, for for the older I get, it's all music to me. Yeah, you know, right, right, so, exactly. Yeah. So uh, interesting. That's a quick lead in, a uh, quick segue to last question. So, mm -hmm. as you look back, excuse me, upon your mortality, mm -hmm. how much longer do you think you'll be able to play at this level of aggression? Uh, uh, let me just say this as well. I'm, right, I'm right. older yeah, as yeah. well, dude. Uh, thanks to, I'm, I'm not a young guy, you know. Right, right. So I appreciate the fact that I have people around my age mm -hmm. putting out kick-ass music. Yeah, yeah. And I don't see why you can't be playing music like this until your 60s and 70s, like maybe like right, the Rolling right. Stones. No, no, hopefully, hopefully we can. I, I don't yeah. know. Well, I, I have it easy. I, I play guitar, and, and you know, <laughs> it, you it, 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 it wasn't easy when you were younger. You had to load in your amp. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 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 what I'm saying is is uh, um, I, I learned to play more economically, and, right, and okay. you know, more effortlessly. Right. right. So. Uh, uh, but, but but for for our drummer and our singer, it's it's it's, it's, tough, it's a much more physical. Yeah, it's physical thing. on the back. Yeah, uh, I uh, hear you. Then again, th uh, they're both probably in better shape than they have been for ages. Yeah, uh, physically, both both of them. Yeah, so, I feel you on that. I've been. Yeah, uh, exactly. So and and I think you have to be. Yes, know, to, to absolutely. Do this. But, but hopefully, we have many more years in us. I mean, with this last yeah. album, it was out in 2021, mm -hmm. and uh, which is basically which is brand new. Because of everything that has happened, right. and it's we we were, we played all the most of the music on my radio show last week, uh, the NYC Metal Scene Show, Metal Messiah Radio. We were really digging it. My associate is, is here, Rania, and we just really enjoyed the music. And you guys are doing a kick-ass job, so don't stop, Thanks. man. No, no, <laughs> I don't want to. All right, so hey, man, I'm here with Martin, the guitarist at the Gaze. I'm DJ Zab, Matthews Blevitz of the NYC Metal Scene Show and the host of NYC Metal Sh Scene Show on Metal Messiah Radio. Keep it locked. What's good? Yeah! Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>